One of the tactics that the Redskins defense has used effectively against the Eagles offense, going back even to last season, is the blitz stun concept, where they'll blitz a linebacker, it could be Mason Foster, could be Zach Brown, and they use that in conjunction with a stun. So the linebacker blitzes and a defensive lineman, there's part of that is a stun. Let's go back to last season because this is really informative and instructive to see what happened a year ago. So what you're going to see here, and it's important to notice the defensive line alignment here. This is really critical because what the Redskins are going to do here is cover Stefan Wisniewski, so he can't help. So now when Mason Foster, the linebacker, blitzes, that forces the back to have to be the one to pick up Foster on the blitz. But what happens here is Foster goes first and he attacks the inside shoulder of Jason Peters. But don't forget, that's Sproul's man. So what happens now is Preston Smith loops behind Foster. Now Sproul, seeing Smith come free, he steps to pick up Smith. No one is now blocking Foster, and they end up getting a sack on Carson Wentz. This was a beautifully designed blitz stunt with a linebacker and the edge rusher, Preston Smith. Now, keep that visual in mind because now week one of this season, on the other side of the formation, the Redskins do something very similar. This time, Zach Brown is the linebacker who blitzes. So what you see here, Brown will blitz. Wendell Smallwood is in the backfield. That's his man. Smallwood does the right thing. He steps up, he takes on Brown, the blitzer. But in the process of doing that, he basically gets in the way of Brandon Brooks, the right guard. And what happens here? Kerrigan loops behind. There was no one to pick him up. He was clean to Carson Wentz and they get a sack. This tactic is something the Redskins do very, very well. They're not a high percentage blitz team, but this concept of blitz and stunt working together is something that the Eagles must be prepared for. All right, Washington is going to bring the heat, Mike Quick. And you saw in that game against Carolina, Carson Wentz was pressured 13 times in that game. And really, they had a hard time picking up the blitz. But what can the Eagles do to beat the blitz against Washington? There are two ways. Beat them with the scheme, or you can beat them with execution. And this is a perfect example of beating them schematically. First of all, across the board, guys have to recognize who could possibly come. Where the pressure is going to come from is the linebacker coming off the edge right here. But watch how well this is executed. You get Zach Ertz clearing out on the inside. You get a great little shake at the top of this route by Nelson Aguilar. He runs away from Shaq Thompson. And then Carson, because this pocket is so tight, he's able to step up and deliver a perfect strike to Nelson. And he just explodes with the ball in his hand, outruns the defense into the end zone. Yeah, Carson was actually only 8 for 21 against the Blitz against Carolina. And you saw they had trouble picking up the Blitz sometimes with Kenyon Barner and the tight ends. What do they need to do to improve on that? Well, this is just an example of outstanding execution. Watch the chip right here on the outside, and it's just enough to hold off the pressure from Carson Wentz. Now, he recognizes that he's going to get a chip on the outside, but he's responsible for that guy. So he's got to be able to step up in the pocket and deliver. Nelson Aguilar realizes that he's hot right away, so if Carson has to go to him, he's available. But Carson wants to get the ball down the field to Mac Hollins on the dig route to the inside. So he buys a little bit of time, he steps up into the pocket, big, big third down, just a perfect example of executing. So two ways, you beat him by the scheme or you beat him by perfect execution, they've been able to do it both ways.